but I'm not going to see you moving now. Plan got control for my arm. This is how it looks like. If you've never seen it, this is how it looks like. So guys, this is my arm. I'm done at the hospital. I thought I was going to be a very uh, brief process, but it took some time. Like, let me say one hour. Yeah, but I'm done. They finally removed it and asked me to come back on Saturday. Yeah. So after two days, I'm going back to the hospital so that they can change this. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're here for the first time, I'm Joycelyn Binui and I'm a content creator based in Douala, Cameroon. Yeah guys, so if you're new here, welcome to the channel and if you haven't yet subscribed, please consider hitting the subscribe button down there and turning on your notification bell so that once any new video comes in, you get a notification and you watch. And if you are an OG, thank you for always coming back to watch my videos. Please, you guys, kindly like the video and in today's video i'm going to be giving you guys a little backstory of how i found out i was pregnant for baby number three after being on the no plant birth control for three years plus yeah so if you're interested in a video like this just stay tuned and watch till the end i gave birth to my daughter that's my second child that was june 2019 yeah june 26 2019 so after after three months that's june july august september myself and hobby we decided that we will need to we will need to control birth for some time before we have another baby why because for our first son our first son was on plant he just came like that the pregnancy just happened like that and again for our daughter it still just happens like that we never really planned on having her at that time that we had her yeah though we thank god for everything it was the will of god yeah so after having her we decided that we were going to go on birth control so we went to the hospital uh, three months after i gave birth we went to the hospital and we talked with our doctor and uh, they gave us different birth control options so we went for the no plant birth control option yeah and it was supposed to last for five years that one works for five years yeah so we we wanted to have another baby like when our daughter turns three or three plus yeah so we agreed on that when i had met with our doctor chose uh, the no plan uh, birth control method as i've told you guys and yeah they placed it in my arm i had it in my arm this is the if you can see there's a black spot here on my on my arm yeah so that's where it was placed and it was there and we were doing our thing and feeling us free and everything was okay until after some time i after like two years after putting the no plant birth control right for some time i never menstruated so it was just okay and then after i started menstruating i used to menstruate for so many days like my uh, before the no plant birth control like my normal menses i would usually menstruate like for three, three or four days yeah after the no plant birth control when my menses finally came i noticed that i was menstruating like for seven days my menses lasted for seven days and sometimes i will menstruate for two weeks like it was getting worse and worse as the years were running down yeah like for after two years after two years i will, I will menstruate like for three weeks continuously you can imagine <laughs> being with your husband and say, woman, i am menstruating for that long yeah but we still could find a way to manage it out to work it out yeah so it was okay because it was what we went for and we actually needed it yeah so it lasted like that for three years my daughter turned three on june 26 2022 yeah so right now she is three plus so after she turned before she turns three years that that was in may 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 2022 we decided that okay she's about to turn three so we need to go and take off this thing because our plan was that after three years we are going to have our next and last baby yeah and for this for 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 our last baby we really wanted to 
to have a plan like to be ready for the baby yeah so we went ahead before she turned three that was in may 2022 we went to the hospital and and the the uh, birth control the no plan birth control was removed it's like a little needle that is put here is put in your arm that they place it in your arm it's like a little needle that they place it in your arm and it stays there for as long as the time that it has to work yeah ours was for five years but you can always remove it before the five years yeah so before that time i was really bleeding like i used to menstruate for so long hobby just said okay now that our daughter is about to turn three we need to go and remove it so that my system is we need time for my system to stabilize and for my menstrual cycle to stabilize again before we start before we start trying for our next baby that's for our last baby by the grace of god <laughs> yeah so we went to the hospital we got it removed i'm going to be inserting videos of how i went to the, or when i went to the hospital for the birth control to be removed yeah so they removed it and yeah i came back for control and everything was okay and the doctor asked me if i am ready to get pregnant now so he can give me some medications to cleanse my system and all of that i said he should just hold on when my uh, menstrual cycle is going to stabilize i'm going to come back for those medications yeah so i went home i that day i went with hobby i went home. i think i even have the video but i never actually i have the video on my channel where we went to the hospital it was in a vlog somewhere but i never actually told you guys why i went to the hospital i was there with hobby we came back home and yeah we knew that i knew that okay i'll be waiting for the next month to come and then the next month that was june and then july so i'm going to see how my menstrual cycle is going to stabilize yeah so that was it we came back home so we're doing our normal things had our normal intimacy like husband and wife and yeah we were okay in august in august 2022 i noticed that wow i started feeling then i it was not even time because since my period had not yet really stabilized it was still like Still dangling somehow so I could, I could not even realize that the my period had delayed or something like that because it will always come and I'll still flow and then at some point I was getting anemic like I even forgot to tell you guys before we went to remove the no plants um, birth control I was getting anemic I was losing a lot of blood and I was having a shortage of, shortage of blood such that sometimes I'll be having my eyes i'll be having a vertige i don't know how they call it in english i'll be having vertige that's my eyes will be turning around when i move i don't really have a lot uh, uh, my normal stability i'll have to be drinking a lot of water and all of that yeah and then there's also some um some natural concoctions that i used to make for to build up my blood that i'll be drinking yeah so that one was helping me a little bit and then in august 2022 wow i noticed at a certain point that i was not feeling well i would just be feeling cold on my feet and then my body i will not have malaria like i will not have body pains like a normal malaria patient does i was just feeling weak and yeah i'll be feeling cold on my feet imagine feeling cold in douala sometimes i really complain of cold when i go back uh, when i come back from work i have to put on a pullover i have to put on socks i was like what is happening it's later on that when i'm going to i notice that when you're getting anemic your feet you'll be feeling a lot of cold yeah when you're getting anemic when, like when your blood level is not uh, the way it's supposed to be like it's reducing you'll be feeling a lot of cold and then you'll also be having that vertige and all of that so i went ahead i went and bought <laughs> i went and bought my 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 blood medication that's hemoglobin medication to build up my blood so i was just taking the medications and then also making my concoctions and drinking to build up my blood ah after some time it continued even after i was taking the medication hobby said no i need to go to the hospital i was escaping from going to the hospital because sometimes when you go to the hospital here in Cameroon or here in douala you go to the hospital continuously like for three days sometimes it's boring if i don't really feel too sick i don't always like just going to the hospital like that because sometimes you end up spending all your days there 
yeah so i went to the hospital we went to the hospital that day and they, this hospital that we went to they never attended to us they were there for the whole day they were just turning around i think i even have a video i'm going to insert that video up here where i complained about uh, hospital services here in douala yeah so we left and we finally left the hospital even without consulting the doctor and went back home yeah so i went back home and continued with those my medications that i bought and was taking so after some time the thing still continued like it still continued something came to my mind that maybe i'm pregnant though now that i don't my menstrual cycle is not even stable i'm not even able to calculate it i don't even know whether my menses has delayed or something yeah so i went ahead now i i never wanted to give a hobby that idea but little did i know that he also had it in his mind <laughs> because normally we're still waiting for the menstrual cycle to stabilize before yeah i never knew that he had that idea in mind that maybe i could be pregnant yeah so i, I came to work one day left and went to the pharmacy when i bought um the pregnancy test trip i forgot i would have brought it here to show you guys so um i'm going to maybe if i get home i'm going to take a short video of it i don't know if it's still in my wardrobe i'm going to take a short video of it and insert it here so i went and i went and uh, bought the test strip came back home i was hiding it i never wanted him to see it <laughs> i came back home no that day while i was at work he kept telling me that baby you need to go back to the hospital are you sure you're not pregnant this one that you are feeling this way, your body is not fine. You are not having malaria, but you are feeling cold, and then you're 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 having uh, you're you're having vertigo. Your eyes, you're complaining that your stability is not really fine. Maybe you need to go back to the hospital. Maybe you're pregnant too. I was like, no, I'm going to insert our chat, our WhatsApp chat here. That particular WhatsApp chat, I said, I had to screenshot it. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to insert it here. You guys will see. He said I should go to the hospital. So he, before he was saying that, I already had those, I already had that sentiment that maybe I was pregnant. So I went and bought now the pregnancy test strip and I hide it. I went and bought it hiddenly, went back home. And then the, because they always say you should use your first pee in the morning, right? So very early in the morning at about 5 a.m. I woke up and went to the toilet to do that test, you guys. <laughs> Not knowing that my husband, each time I just wake up from bed to pee, he hears so he hears it and he's listening to me, especially as I was not feeling well. Yeah, but he would not just like wake up like this to ask that, okay, he would know that I'm going to pee. So when I went to the toilet, when I was about to go to the toilet, I first went to I first of all went to the wardrobe when I removed the thing. It looks like he felt it that i've removed something from the ward wardrobe so i went and removed it went to the toilet as i was opening the papers the papers were making noise and he was hearing that i was opening something so he i don't know he just kept him quiet and when i opened it did i could not even talk like people usually take videos that's why i told you guys that i did not take any video of how i did my pregnancy test and, or how i found out that i had to give you guys the backstory like this yeah so i went ahead i did i put i peed and then i did the test normally how they do it as i inserted the thing like this not even make up to that, that how many minutes that they say there are two red lines already came out very strong like <laughs> it came out very strong so I could not even talk like I could not even say that I would take my phone to go and take a video because he would just wake up and come and I did not want him to know. I wanted to like if it's positive then I'm going to surprise him with the results and all of that. So I took it now. It was positive. I quietly put the thing not knowing that he had already sensed it. I don't know if he actually woke up and came closer to the toilet or to know that I was actually doing the pregnant test. I don't understand. So when I did it now I came back. I kept it in the wardrobe and went me back to bed. He also never said anything. In the morning, we did our normal morning duties. Then the kids were on holidays here. Yeah. And then all of us, we went to work and everything. And when we came back that evening, I, I laid on the couch in the parlor. Yeah. So he came. He asked me, that, how am I feeling now? I said, I'm there. I'm not really feeling okay. I was thinking of how I'm going to tell him, like how I'm going to surprise him. <laughs> because we're... Still waiting on the menstrual cycle to stabilize you understand yeah so we so I laid on the chair he came he came and laid on me and held me and asked me that <laughs> that was it positive that did I do a pregnancy test was it positive <laughs> because he's sensing that I'm pregnant <laughs> I just started laughing 
I started laughing. I could not even refuse because he had already heard. He had already known that I did something like that. So I just started laughing. He just hugged me now and like he was grateful to God that this is something that other people other people really struggle to get but we thank god that we don't we never struggle to get it and it just comes like that god just gives it like that to us yeah so he was happy he helped me he gave me a kiss and he was really so excited like he was excited each time i'm pregnant my husband is really so excited <laughs> you see all the excited you see all the excitement in him here so that's how it happened i could not even hide it again to say that i'm going to so he i had to go now and then take the test trip and come and show him i was i just kept laughing and laughing and laughing <laughs> because i really wanted to do like a video like to surprise him with the results yeah so that's how it happens and yeah so maybe in my next video i'm going to share with you all my experience from first trimester second trimester third trimester maybe i'm just going to summarize everything in one video yeah right now our lives are about to change we are about to be a family of four yeah our immediate family of four knowing that we have other people in the family know that we have other people at home and we are so thankful to god for that so that's how everything happens i finally did not even get to know the stability the stability of my menstrual cycle and even i had to use a lot of uh, intelligence to be able to trace back when i lastly had my my uh, my last mens when i had my last menstrual period because once ever you're pregnant you go to the hospital the first thing they ask you is when was your last menses the last day of your the, the what was the first day of your last menses yeah so i had i had to do a lot of work to be able to trace it back here yeah. so thank god that's the story that's how i found out and that's how i couldn't make any video <laughs> So guys, if you watch up to this point, thank you so much. And if you haven't yet subscribed, do me well to hit the subscribe button down there and turn on your notification bell so that once any new video comes in, you get a notification and you watch. Thank you and see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.